Hey what's up folks this is Aaron Tagore and you're watching Mara Tech and today in this video I'll be showing you guys how you can root your Pixel 3a very easily so without wasting any further time let's start with the video So the next thing you need to have is an unlock bootloader and in this video I will not be showing you how you can unlock the bootloader because it's very well explained on the official Google website so that will be linked in the description down below. So the very first thing that I need to show you guys is that I am currently not rooted and this is my Pixel 3a. Now we need to do is some of the enabling and disabling things in our phone. So head over to settings and go into settings and find about phone. Now in about phone go ahead and scroll down to see build number and tap it several times until it says you are a developer now. Now go into developer option and you must see OEM unlocking pre-enabled. Now turn off automatic system updates and turn on USB debugging. And now make sure that you connect your phone to your PC using a cable. Now in your PC go ahead to this website. This will be linked down in the description and Go to Sargo for Pixel 3a. Sargo is the code name for Pixel 3a. Now, download the latest patch available by the time you are rooting your device. Now, make sure that you paste uh, the downloaded file where your ADB and Fastboot tools are. Now, let's extract this file. Now, open this file and go to the folder like this and search for image Sargo something something. Now, extract it to the same uh, place where ADB and Fastboot tools are. Now wait until it extracts. As this is a very big file, it will take little time to extract. So be patient and don't do anything wrong. The reason why we are doing this extracting thing is because we need to get that boot image which is very necessary for our routing process. Now. Once the previous file is extracted, you will see the new file. Now we need to extract the new file again in order to get the boot image. Now this new file is also fairly large file. So it will take a little time. So be patient and don't do anything wrong. Now once the previous file is extracted, we will see a bunch of new files, but we need to be concerned only with the one that says boot. Now. As we have connected our phone to the PC, we need to copy this boot file to our PC, uh, phone, I mean. Alright, now make sure that you copy anywhere that you like. So I'll be copying it right in the internal storage. Now, let's head back over to our phone and do some major things. Now this is a very major step for the routing process. So head over to Google Chrome and in download the Magisk Manager and i will not be downloading it because i have already downloaded it now let's head over and install magisk manager tap on magisk manager and now tap on install wait until it's installing and once it's done tap on done and head over to home now let's open magisk manager now when you will open magisk manager you will see saying magisk is not installed well let's install it Tap on install and once again tap on install and this time select the second option only which says select and patch a file. Now grant the permission to the internal storage. Now if you remember in the previous step we just transferred the boot image from our PC to our phone. So navigate to the boot image and tap on the boot image. Now Magisk will start doing some Magisk magic. So make sure that you be patient and let it do it thing. Now once it will be done, Magisk will start the flashing process. No need to worry, it's all normal. Basically, what it's doing is it's patching the boot image, the stock boot image and modifying it. Now the patched boot image will be in the internal storage and the downloads folder. So we need to transfer that patched boot image to our PC. So connect the phone and enable the file transfer mode in your phone. Now in your PC, head over and connect your phone again and 
go to this PC or my computer whichever version you are and now find where the magisk patch is so it will be in internal storage and downloads most probably so let's cut or maybe copy it and paste it where our adb and fastboot folder is so if you are copying or cutting any file straight away from your phone to your c drive you will get an error saying access denied just like this in order to fix it we need to go to desktop and paste the file there and from the desktop we will cut or maybe copy and now paste it in our c drive where our adb and fastboot folder is now what we need to do is open a command window right where fastboot and adb is installed now make sure that you have enabled the adb or the usb debugging on your phone now type adb devices and you should see your device if you don't see take a look in your phone and please allow it now type adb reboot bootloader so basically what this command will do is it will reboot your phone to the bootloader mode now hit enter and wait for the phone to boot into the bootloader mode now once your device is rebooted into the bootloader mode now we need to type is fastboot devices so if you don't see your device make sure that you install the drivers properly now we need to type is fastboot get war current slot so basically what this command does is that it will give you the current slot that your device is now so my current slot is slot b so what we need to do is now type fastboot flash boot into the current slot for me it's slot slot b so i will type first boot flash boot underscore b and now minimize this window and go ahead to majest patch boot image tap on rename because we need to type the exact name in front of our command so once again open the command window and now just paste it and don't forget to type dot img because this is the extension for the boot image now once the whole command is complete that is first boot flash boot underscore b majisk patch dot img tap on enter and it will start flashing the boot image now once the flashing process is done we need to type is fast boot reboot so this command will do is just reboot your phone now you should see that your device will start rebooting now wait until your device reboots now if you have followed all the steps properly your device will reboot or else you will go into the boot loop now open magis manager and this time it will take a little bit of time because this is the first time opening magis manager after rooting your phone so it will show Majisk is installed. Now let's open root checker and let's verify whether the device is properly rooted. Now tap on verify root and please grant the permission. And boom, you are now rooted. So share this video with all the Pixel 3 owners and make sure that you smash that like button, press on that red subscribe button and thanks for watching.